So, taking a screen out of um, uh, the 00701 Kindle, uh, I think it was one of the first, first series. Yeah, this is the old screen, you see it's cracked. You see what happens at the back. So what happens is if you knock these at the edge, this glass piece just shattered. So it just sits in a kind of tray just here, you can see. That's the main sort of uh, PCB. Uh, here you've got the Whisper Net, which is part of this, uh, any, they call it Any Data, which is your mobile carrier. Um, all various chipsets on here. You have to remove these four screws at the bottom to get the actual main PCB out. You have to release these um, these little tiny clips. You can see them here. Look, they just fall back, so don't try to pull the ribbon out. Each of these has like a little sort of almost like a little guillotine or lever that sandwiches onto the ribbon cables. So you have to remove all of those out that allow you to you know to, to put these uh, ribbon cables uh, back in. So um, the plastic tray at the end there that just stays in situ. So don't try to to remove that. The whole the whole thing lifts out gradually from one side, and you just kind of lever it out sideways. You can see there's another little ribbon there, so you be careful on that one and same goes for um, this little one down here and at the top there so it's just a matter of releasing those on the screen itself so we're kind of rolling backwards after I've taken it out there is this stickiness on on the front of the screen where this bezel uh, sits you just gradually peel that back gently it's a bit fragile stainless steel kind of thing but it, it quite easily um, uh, peels away and then to take out the sort of uh, the main uh, printed circuit board there's this shell and I've left most of the screw screws in here there's just this shell and uh, you unscrew you know all of the screws that go around the side and in the middle as well unscrew them all I left the screws in situ most of them um, so you remove all of those uh, once you've done that, that sort of uh, back plate uh, comes off. The only tricky bit which you can find on the internet is how to release um, the rear cover, this thing here. It, effectively you just push it down and you can see it's on a couple of little lugs. So that's um, uh, just to get the initial plas this plastic plate off where the power button is. You just push it down. You don't need a special tool. You just push it, push it down. It's flexible, and then these two pegs will release the back plate, and the back plate itself uh, just slides away. The battery just held in by a couple of screws. It just lifts out. It's easy peasy, uh, and the back plate. At first, it looked hard to remove this back plate. You can see there's a back plate here, so you have to release two screws on the end, and you'll see those. There's a screw here and a screw on the very end there. You, you take those two screws out and again you kind of push down on this plate and these little lugs on the end you see those little lugs as three lugs they're kind of in receptacles into the into the other um, um, holder that holds the main PCB you just push down them on them and then push the whole thing backwards so you put a bit of pressure down and push backwards and then this will just come away it just comes away so don't try to take the piece to take this back cover off by using these two slots here that's not how you take it off you, you first of all you take that little tiny plate off the one I showed you first of all and then you take the two screws out the end push down on the lugs gently or you don't want to snap them off and then push back and that thing will come away and it's pretty easy to get the main back cover off and it's just a matter of being gently releasing the um, as I mentioned already on the PCBs uh, on the printed circuit board you just release these tiny little things. They're very. You just put your finger a little bit of pressure on. Don't put too much or they'll snap. Um, you could put a little screwdriver underneath, but just your fingernail and then prise them up, and all those will come away. And really, it's not that difficult to get this thing apart.